Hello everyone, this is Adel from Ozen Engineering and in this video we will explore the EMC Plus Hearth Coupling to an Aircraft demo that's available in the software examples. We walk through the entire process from defining the simulation domain uh, to assigning properties, setting up probes and doing some post-processing. We'll work uh, with this pre-simplified F-16 model which will be exposed to plane wave uh, of Gaussian poles to simulate multiple frequencies at once. This enables the measurement of canopy shielding effectiveness and the assessment of coupling onto avionics cables. So let's start by defining our simulation domain. To do so, uh, let's click on the EMA3D tab and then click on domain. Let's expand time, lattice, minimum, maximum, step size. Here let's keep the lowest frequency set to 1 megahertz and the highest frequency set to 1 gigahertz. For minimum X minus 1020 millimeters, for minimum Y minus 6000 millimeters, and for minimum Z 0 millimeters. For maximum X 15000 millimeters, for maximum Y 6000 millimeters and for maximum Z 70 20 millimeters. And here uh, I'll change the divisions to use uh, a total of 8 cores. Once this is done, let's click on the complete button. As you can see, our lattice should encapsulate our aircraft model. Now that we have our simulation domain defined, let's define our Hearth plane wave source. And to do that, let's click on plane wave, expand general and orientation. Let's click on show names to see the vector labels. And here we want to orient the plane wave with electric field polarization vector in the plus x direction. So to do that, let's set propagation theta to 90 degrees, propagation phi to 270 degrees, polarization theta to 90 degrees, and polarization phi to 0 degrees. And let's click complete. Here, as you can see, our E field is oriented in the plus X direction. And here in the simulation tree, we can see our plane way defined. Now we need to define and assign material properties to our model. So let's click on materials, isotropic, Let's click here, click new, and double click on isotropic one. We'll rename it boxes. Here we can choose a color. And we'll set the connectivity to 4.65 E6 Siemens per meter. Now in the structure tree, let's select boxes and click complete. Now if I click on the eye icon next to boxes, we can see all objects with boxes material properties. Following the same steps, let's assign the next material. This time we'll assign uh, the skin. Let's click on general, change the color, and set the conductivity to 1.12 E7 Siemens per meter. We'll assign that to skin and click complete. The next material uh, is cabin and seats. Let's 
let's change the color and a sine conductivity of 7.44 E6 Siemens per meter. We assign that to cabin and seats and click complete. The next material is the engine. Let's change the color. And we'll set the conductivity to 1.12 E7 Siemens per meter. Let's select the engine and click complete. Next, we have the canopy. We'll change the color. And set the conductivity to 1 E minus 1 Siemens per meter. And the last material is the, the ribs. Let's change the color. And set the conductivity to 1.12 E7 Siemens per meter. We'll select it and click complete. In this video, we saw how to define the simulation domain, define the plane wave source, how to define and assign material properties, and in the uh, next video, we'll see how to create the M harness cables, create the current voltage and field probes, mesh and run the simulation. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.